India delivered a stern message to Pakistan at the United Nations General Assembly on Friday. Indian delegate Sneha Dubey called Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan's speech at the 76th UNGA false and malicious. She said, and I quote, Regrettably, this isn't the first time leader of Pakistan has misused platforms provided by the UN to propagate false and malicious propaganda against my country and seeking in vain to divert the world's attention from the sad state of his country where terrorists enjoy free pass. This is a country that has been globally recognized as openly supporting, training, financing and arming terrorists as a matter of state policy, Dubey said. Entire Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh were, are and will always be integral and inalienable part of India. This includes areas that are under illegal occupation of Pakistan. We call upon Pakistan to immediately vacate all areas under its illegal occupation, she added. In his address, Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan had raised the issue of Kashmir and criticised the Indian government, a standard template that Pakistan follows at such international platforms. Junior Indian diplomat Sneha Dubey went viral after her fiery response. She is a 2012 batch Indian Foreign Service officer who completed her studies in Goa and later earned an MPhil from Jawaharlal Nehru University in Delhi. She is the first in her family to join government services. After being selected for the Foreign Service, Sneha Dubey's first appointment was in the Ministry of External Affairs. Then in August 2014, she was sent to the Indian Embassy in Madrid. Sneha is currently India's first secretary at the United Nations. We exercise our right of reply to one more attempt by the leader of Pakistan to tarnish the image of this August forum by bringing in matters internal to my country and going so far as to spew falsehoods on the world stage. While such statements deserve our collective contempt and sympathy for the mindset of the person who utters falsehood repeatedly, I am taking the floor to set the record straight. Regrettably, this is not the first time the leader of Pakistan has misused platforms provided by the UN to propagate false and malicious propaganda against my country and seeking in vain to divert the world's attention from the sad state of his country where terrorists enjoy free pass while the lives of ordinary people, especially those belonging to the minority communities, are turned upside down. Mr. President, member states are aware that Pakistan has an established history and policy of harboring, aiding, and actively supporting terrorists. This is a country which has been globally recognized as one openly supporting, training, financing, and arming terrorists as a matter of state policy. Finally, Mr. President, let me reiterate here that the entire Union territories of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh were, are, and will always be an integral and inalienable part of India. This includes the areas that are under the illegal occupation of Pakistan. We call upon Pakistan to immediately vacate all areas under its illegal occupation. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.